Suzanne Summers is here. Oh, no kidding. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. She's with her husband, I think. Yeah, that guy like is a Svengali or something. I think he's like I think he may be executive producer of her new show. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. You nail a piece like that, and, and then you, you get to be executive producer of the show. You know what? We got to talk to her about that movie she did of her life. Yeah. Not too long ago, because it was so funny. You know, she was doing everything wrong. She was a you know she wrote bad checks. Yeah, but meanwhile she had a then, body that wouldn't kill. This wouldn't guy quit. came along and married her. Yeah, I would have married her. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Big deal of what she went to bed. She was like a bad news bear. Did Suzanne went to bed? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's not. She had that whole society of bedwetters. I still went to bed. Because <laughs> I remember seeing her on Donahue with her father. I actually w- did a number two in my bed last oh. night. Now stop. It happened by accident. Wrong. You're not going to believe what happened. Wait till I tell Suzanne this. I swear it happened. Uh, yeah, you need a support group. <gasps> I've been so fried right in this movie. You I don't went... do that by accident. No, no. It was an a- Want to know how it was an accident? <laughs> I know what I'm gonna... happened. No accident. What do you think happened? You went to mi- pass wind and... No, missed. wrong. <laughs> well, it's, li- li- it's much worse than that. Listen to this. Tell. I go to the bathroom. I'll tell it quick. <laughs> And I could tell it in a way that family audience can hear it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Doesn't the family do No, I went to the bathroom last night, and I, I've been a little constipated. <laughs> all right? So I really was pushing, and I normally don't. Yeah, I know, breaking all your rules. I'm out of sorts. So <laughs> not everything really... I, I didn't feel finished. Oh. And... Uh, then I got into bed to fi- you? to have sex with myself. No, you did. And no, let me tell you what you I got in bed with something on deck. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. So, wait a second. Listen to this. In the staging area. <laughs> did this yeah, ever happen somebody. to you? Did this ever happen to you? In the wing? Robin acts like it didn't happen. Somebody was in the batter's cage. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, listen to this. <laughs> so I go to the I go to the bathroom and I'm like feeling out of sorts because they know I haven't finished completed the act. <laughs> But I, like I'm getting annoyed, and I take a shower and everything, and I don't know. And I don't, you clean up like No, I had showered before. Oh. I had showered before. I didn't want to go to the bathroom, but I just felt uncomfortable, and I, I thought, well, maybe if I push a little, everything will come out. <laughs> so anyway, I. So then I got lay in bed, and I'm pleasuring myself so I can get to sleep. Oh, oh. Because I've been wired like out of my mind. In fact, I didn't fall asleep last night till like midnight. Even after. <laughs> Even after I finished. So I'm doing my thing to myself, right? And I finish, and but while I'm doing it. I realized back there I'm a little more relaxed, yeah. and things you dropped didn't out. Notice? I, I I didn't realize it. I didn't know what happened. No. So I made it in my bed. So I'm like Suzanne You're Summers. Like I make it. I make it my bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't just wet the bed. <laughs> That's right. That's why I say you like Elvis. Oh, it was a nightmare. I had to go clean up. I had toilet tissue with water. I mean, it was a whole thing. But you were wearing underwear. No, I was in the middle of pla- pleasing myself. I had my underwear pulled Did down. Did you have to change the bed? No, 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 no. I don't want my. I don't want to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> I changed the mattress. <laughs> I called dial a mattress. They had it there in two hours. Uh, he's now on right. rubber sheets. So let me take a break, and I can't wait to talk to Suzanne Summers, who, by the way, left. I've often criticized Suzanne for this. Well, she is the test case. She left Reese Company at the wrong time. Whenever you talk to another person about leaving a TV show, you yes. always bring up Suzanne Summers. But she came back. She's on that show with that uh, that guy from uh, Patrick Dallas. Patrick Swayze. I mean, Patrick no. Duffy. Patrick Swayze. You were right the first <laughs> Patrick time. Patrick right. Duffy. And she has her own talk show now. And she has her own talk show. So she's, you know, listen. And well, you know, for it took a number of years, though. How long was it before we saw Suzanne Summers again? Exactly. So there's a lot going on there. <laughs> so we're going to talk to the very beautiful Suzanne Summers. If you ditch her husband, maybe I could uh, get something off her. I wouldn't mind uh, grabbing her. Oh, that's a hot little hot I don't little think she'd let you. She's always been very standoffish with you. I mean, she's got to be pretty horny. I think she's been faithful to that guy. For she's like... been looking forward to this meeting with really? you, I've been told. You think she's horny? She doesn't remember. For you, no. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't for the husband, probably. meeting him before. <laughs> Yeah, she met me a long time she ago. She appears to be one of those women who gets a guy and then just sort of really worships that guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she roams. Yeah, I know. I get that vibe, too. Like, she's, like, real loving and everything. Right. Mm. We also got to find out how she hooked up with this thigh master because that made her oh. a ton of money. Yeah. All right, let's, well, what are we doing? Let's take a break and then right. talk to Suzanne Summers. Are you excited to be here? He makes me nervous. Hard makes you nervous? Mm-hmm. Why? Um, because he's so unpredictable. He, that excites me, too, but um, usually men don't make me nervous. He makes me nervous. So why did you decide to come in? Because I like living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> always teetering. <laughs> How do I look, Robin? I want to look good for Suzanne. Well, you look quite nice. I'm better looking than her husband, right? 
You've I seen think him. so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to meet Suzanne Summers now. We have a lot of questions, obviously. Well, there's been a lot going on in her life. Yes. Look, I'm going to the Where do we start? The beginning or the middle or the end? Well, maybe we should start at the present the and then jump around in time. Well, that's a bad movie technique, but good for radio. <laughs> let me take, let me soak you in. Hmm. Oh, why are you wearing pants? Oh, the husband's coming in, huh? He's always there. Why are you wearing pants, Suzanne? Hi. Wait a second, can I look at you for a while? Nice to see you. Wait. How come you're wearing pants? Well... Hey, Alan. You would just die hey. if you saw these legs. I bet you I would. <laughs> Are you sick of sleeping with Alan on? T hey, Alan, let me interview your wife for like alone, and then like the dating game. Like I'll bring you in next, so she can talk freely without you. No, you don't. You're a real Svengali. You don't even leave her side for a minute. When I said, I, I said, hey, could you leave for like ten minutes? He's like, <laughs> he doesn't even know that me. word. Yeah, he's like, I, I'm not leaving. I, I control Suzanne. When I said Suzanne, what? Howard. Yeah. When I said Suzanne, would you please follow me? They like rose simultaneously. Oh, really? What are you, like a Svengali or something, man? Yeah, yeah. Well, what, 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 what do you mean? Are you the guy who told her to leave Three's Company? Of course. Yeah, good, good yes. move. Yeah, yes. I would, I'd make you executive producer of my talk show. Yeah, we had, we had words about that. Suzanne and Alan's shoelaces are tied together, so they have to be everywhere together. <laughs> what is it? You don't let your wife out of your... Because you know... get on your show? Yeah, how come you're suddenly on here? You're not even in? interviewing like Suzanne. <laughs> Alan, are you a guy who wants to be a celebrity in a way, too? Maybe a little yeah, of that? I really like to be... Better known than I am. You want so you want to be behind the camera and Suzanne I should like get to be in front of the camera, just like you. Is it a weird relationship, Suzanne? That you you know are you Can't able to ever would you, go out without him? Would you be able to say to your husband, <laughs> I don't want to do this show with you? Or would you be able to do your new talk show without Alan as I'm the executive honest, producer? Honest. Uh, yeah. We we go everywhere together, but I really would not want to do the talk show really? without him. And you're really in love with him. Yeah, I am. And how long And you never get horny on? for other guys? Uh no. You never think about other guys. How long have you guys no. been married? We've been together 25 years. Oh, I'd love to do you. You have you have an incredible <laughs> lips. Oh, what I'm See, doing for those lips. I'm man, has. you're a lucky man. I wouldn't let her out of my sight either. I understand that. Yeah. I could I, I, I yo comprendo. You know, someone said to me the other day that um mm. uh, cuz Alan's 10 years older than I am and he And he looks it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Every bit. Uh, you guys look completely out of sync. Distinguished, you need a young man. And, and I forget who I was. Alan's got one foot in the grave. Oh. When you go, I'm Suzanne's new husband. Husband. Suzanne keeps him around to make sure he's breathing, I suppose. Is that I want to see the guy Suzanne does after Alan passes after, on. Probably young. Oh, yeah. Uh, very right. young. Oh, Patrick Duffy. Yeah. Uh, no, Patrick Duffy's a weird some, guy, isn't he? Uh, no, he's not weird. He's got a wife that kind of is like out of sync with him. She's not that hot. And no. like, he's a real good looking dude. Do you think he cheats on his wife? No, no, never, <laughs> never. I really, uh, he, he wouldn't. He Do you ever get horny for him? No, I kiss him so much. Do you really? Yeah, I kiss him. Do you every admire day, him all day? I like I like Patrick a lot. Anyway, let me tell you. About but when you're with him, do you ever think like what it would be like to have sex with him? I uh, no. Really, you don't think about having sex with other guys ever. No, Alan is just. Alan satisfies like my you totally. Everything. Yeah. <gasps> what do you got a hypnotize? What do you take hypnotism lessons? I sound like some stupid. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I mean I think no, it's really nice. Yeah. It, women really feel that way about husband, guys. Yeah. You want to know something? I'm going to tell you something you about not, Alan. You're not asking Alan though. This is something that Alan will not admit to now, but I'm telling you, he's a man, and I know men. Mm -hmm. I don't know much, but I know human nature. Yeah. That's the only thing that has and made me successful. And all men are the same. Yes. Oh, this is the amazing thing. <laughs> Women will be in a relationship with a guy, and even if he's 10 years older, he gets a little older and everything, you know, oh, I love Alan. He's always been there for me, my time of need. I, 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 there was a time in my life. Well, he confusion. wasn't there for me in my time well, you of you know, need. When I, that's true. But I, I don't know. But you <laughs> but know what you I know, mean? They've been together 25 years. I don't know when she had time to write a bad check. If Suzanne, <laughs> if Suzanne was in a car accident uh -oh. tomorrow, and of course we hope this never happens, Jeez. and she was disfigured, mm -hmm. okay, you lost your leg. Mm hmm and then he'd go out with Pamela Sue Anderson. Alan would leave you. <laughs> if you lost your leg and your huh. face was messed up. Especially if I lost my legs, then what could he sell, you yeah, know? Exactly. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm his suitcase. Guys are ties. like that. I am telling you. Alan, tell the truth. I'd be out of there in a second. Exactly. And he's not kidding. <laughs> At least he's admitting it. <laughs> no, Alan, Alan would buy rollerblades and zoom out of there. Is Alan's <laughs> microphone working? Alan, give me a testing one, two, three, pop of modulation. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Hello. All right. He's just yeah. purposely staying It was staying turned around my. the wrong way for a while. Yeah. So now, how did Alan become the executive producer? Because I'm married to the star. Yeah, but I mean, in a way, sometimes it's healthier to 
maybe Alan distance yourself from the project. No, you know why? He, know, he knows me. He does? He really, he knows me better than anybody Oh, God, alive. I want to make and love to you. what does he need you to You really know? sparkle. <laughs> I've never, you know, I've never, I don't, you know, like on TV, you're real good looking. Yeah. But in person, I gotta have sex with you. <laughs> I have to cheat. I have to date. Yeah, just, um, you know, tonight. Alan, what was it like the, su- the, the first time you got Suzanne in bed? Uh, and she's still good, you know what I mean? Uh, you guys have been married 20 years, and she's as good as she was on that dopey Three's Company. I know, incredible. <laughs> so when you were on Three's Company, mm-hmm. I was screaming at you. Mm-hmm. I said, what a mistake. Stay with the show. Listen, you know actresses go around for like years and years and years. They wait for a big break. You get the big break, so you milk it. You make a ton of dough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this I wanted, it, my contract was up, and so I renegotiated. It was oh. just that the timing was really bad. And someone had called me from New York, from the... Um, business affairs in New York and said, you didn't hear it from me, but they're going to hang a nun in the marketplace and it's going to be you. And I figured... To teach everyone that, hey, you better stay in line. Which is what happened. And I figured... They were afraid John Ritter and that other girl... DeWitt, Joyce DeWitt. Whatever. Uh, Joyce DeWitt (laughs) were going to uh, ask for more money if you asked for more money and 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 got it. And Well, for whatever I got, they would have gotten. I see. So it was a business thing. It was was a business thing. And so it it really backfired because I figured it's the number one show in the country. And you're the reason people are watching. Well, I I might... sense of self-esteem wasn't that good. I can see now in perspective that that character was really vital to the show. It was. But at the time, I didn't really understand that. But I figured, it's the three of us, and they wouldn't break up the chemistry, and my contract's up anyway, and it I always really thought it was an bit Alan? me in the butt. There was an Alan who said for you to leave? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought it, it was just that John Ritter is so dull in his you know, personal life that you couldn't handle it No, anymore. but you know what? You know what? Uh, you hate John Ritter, don't you? No, I don't. No, John I don't. Ritter and you do not talk to each other. He was no. so mad at you. In fact, he's still mad, and that that I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, like, get over it, <laughs> you dude. Know, you know, you made a lot of money. Been gone for right. how yeah, he's still right. mad. Like, hey, dude, it was a business decision on Suzanne's part. She's right. an actress. This is what she wanted to do with her life. Yeah, he still wants to be walking in, falling over that couch. Well, John Ritter is that probably was a said great to, part for him. Jo- yeah, well, John Ritter said to himself, "Hey, we've got something successful. I've waited a long time in my career. Why is she ruining up. this for yeah. me?" Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you know. But you know, just in terms of Alan, I'm the one who told him to go in and renegotiate. Do you everyone think everyone always makes him the bad guy, and he's oh, he is the bad guy. I've made. I was the, the first guy. one to make Alan the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know yes. that. Yes, I've heard. <laughs> what, were you an agent before, uh, Alan? No. How were you going in renegotiating contracts? I was totally contract? unemployed. I had Re- are you serious? No career. No, come on. What was Alan no doing experience. when you met him? Yeah. He, he's Johnny Carson of Canada. Oh, he, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Canada, that's a tough market to yeah. crack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm the uh, I'm the uh, Jack Parr of Poland, all right? <laughs> I mean, what is this? My husband actually is, um, he could, if he went to Poland, yes. and if he paid $150, yeah. he, he could pick up his family barony, <laughs> and then I would be oh, the you, baroness. You would be a contessa. We just haven't gotten over to Poland and oh, come up with man. 150 bucks. You have to show You've up in person. You've got somebody. I am taking you in. Aren't you hot in that jacket? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys still make love as much as you did no. when you first met? You really don't? More. Here's More. my question to you, Alan. More. Never mind Suzanne. <laughs> you know, you're going to get the real answers from me. He's, okay. he's like you, but I will tell you the Oh, I give thing. the truth. I always talk, I just talked yeah. about making it in my bed last yeah. night, and I don't mean like what you did yeah. like yeah. when you were a kid, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah, mine was good news. <laughs> Gary, tu- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gary, turn up the air conditioning so Suzanne gets real cold and has to, I mean, it, it actually, uh... You want that, her hot. I want her hot. Yeah, I want you hot. <laughs> Turn down the air conditioning. <laughs> so you have to take off your jacket. What? You always wear that jacket? or? Uh, it's a new jacket. It doesn't look that good nice? on you. It doesn't it's, look that good. It's nice. Ah. It's my Ralph Lauren uh, suede jacket. I like to Just see that tight, it. clingy, black number. <laughs> All right, anyway. Turns you on, Alan. Huh? I'm hot for your wife. God. Yeah, mellow out. I can't wait to get back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. The point is, <laughs> when you have someone like a Suzanne Summers in bed with you, like we saw, like with Billy Joel and Christy Brinkley. Here he has a beautiful woman, and he's not a physically impressive guy. And uh, suddenly he must have gotten tired of Christy Brinkley. I mean, he, he it, 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 I don't know. Well, I you t- must see it all the see, time out think, there in Hollywood. I, I think he just probably didn't feel worthy. I think that's what that's what's uh, what that is. About. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he always talked about she's so beautiful, she's so incredible, and all I heard him thinking was, and I'm not enough for her. Mm, interesting. So Alan doesn't think that. No, Alan thinks he's uh, enough for Suzanne. Oh, God, does he ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, you never, I guess you don't get tired of Suzanne. I would never get tired of you. I mean, look at you. You take good care of yourself. I do. But you could still wear a thong, right? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. You you guys go on vacations and you and you parade. Pain. You do and you wear like a thong and go topless and no, stuff. No, I don't go topless. Yeah, she does. She does. Ah. <laughs> does she, Alan? Yeah. Once, once I went topless. Oh, what I love that. Once I went topless and I didn't want to go topless. Oh, I'm so and I horny. Was lying there and he kept saying, you know, Suzanne, we've been here two weeks. You pull it up, you pull it down, you tie the back, you do. The, you're constantly working with the top. He said, you're the only one on the beach with the top. Take it off. Right. So after two weeks, one day I said. Oh, all right. I'll take it off. And I'm lying there. Yeah, I'm Alan's executive producer. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. take it off. Yeah, why don't you pull your, your shorts off, Alan, on the beach? So I'm lying there. Yeah. I'm lying there. Two minutes later, two guys walk up to me and say, Hi, Suzanne. How are Jack and Janet? <laughs> Jan and oh, Jan. man. <laughs> and Alan was nude during this? No. no. <laughs> I see. He doesn't even take off his underpants when he has a massage. Yeah, so and there you go. He's, he's telling you to get naked. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it's good. That's you don't job. take your pa- underpants off when you get a massage? I never get a he, massage. Who massages? Because he has to take yeah. off his underpants. Is it a female masseuse? Yes. Well, you we had that massage in um, in Las Vegas, and you left your underpants on. And it was a it girl? Was really funny. She thought it was really funny. And it was I a said, girl massaging? Yeah. Was she hot? Oh, God. <laughs> was she really? Oof. Yeah. I would get my underpants off. <laughs> if my wife said, hey, take your underpants off, my wife's always telling me to keep my underpants on. <laughs> you two sound like quite a pair. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really impressive. But she's not yeah. executive producing my talk show. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't let her. That's true. Maybe if um, you put <laughs> There's enough to get... On. Don't you guys get sick of each other, though, seriously? I mean, hanging around, working, and then... Yeah. Like, don't you want to get away a little... Is Alan on the set with you when you tape your TV show? Yeah. He works on that, too? No, no, but he's around when we're taping. Alan, so what? Alan just hangs around. Alan, why don't you does. go get a sandwich? That's what he does. He hangs around. You hang around yeah. while Suzanne my job. tapes the show with Patrick Duffy? What, are you afraid he's going to steal her or something? Yeah. You're really insecure, Alan. I am. I can't. Help is that it. true? In a way, I don't blame you. 24 years of insecurity. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I don't blame you. Why is Robin over there? Because, because that's where I have to insecure. have her. Yeah. This, is like, this is like Mars and Venus. You, you people are on different planets. I'm saying uh, you're, you're an insecure guy in the I sense am, that... I, but I understand you're really stunning, and really? I mean I'd be really kind of nervous he has I'd lose to drive you. But then again, her everywhere and be with with her everywhere she goes. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. That, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the show. That so I was saying he's ten years older than I am, and that I was talking to someone who said, "Well, the odds are," I said, "I'll be with Alan forever." And they said, "The odds are that um, with the way men's health is, that you'll be here for a while after he's gone." I said. No, he's too nosy. He's going to wait till the yeah, very end. He'll hang on. End. So like when you go to the bathroom, does Alan follow you in, or oh. does he leave you alone in there? No, he follows me. He and does. We do everything together. Yeah. He brings me Alan, what's breakfast it like, in bed. what's it like the first time you get Suzanne Summers? Do you believe it? I mean, how did you get her? I still can't believe it. How did he get well, you? She wasn't Suzanne Summers. Who was no. she? No, Suzanne I, who? I, I wasn't Suzanne Summers. I who was were you? Suzanne Summers. <laughs> Broken writing bad checks and right. And she was a criminal. No longer wetting the bed. And peeing though. in the bed. No longer wetting the bed. <laughs> Big deal, you know. You peed in the bed. You should see what <laughs> I did in the bed. Cute, <laughs> <laughs> like you see my movie. Yeah, see, see, I went to Catholic school and we never did any of the things. So like you'd wet the bed and what the other kids would goof on you and stuff. <laughs> I got goofed on for much worse. <laughs> oh man. They weren't in bed with me. <laughs> I know. You ever you ever have lesbianism? Uh, no, no. You ever think about it? No. You never try it. No, I'm really, I'm happy with Al. And, and John Ritter never came on to you when oh, you were doing? always. Didn't, seriously, always. did he? Of course. So he's not, really? John Ritter's very horny. So he's, so he's not a homo? Uh, he, oh, definitely. <gasps> homo. Sexual. No, 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 no. He, oh, no, he's no. definitely. Hetero, hetero. He's definitely hetero. Oh, definitely. Really, I always thought. Very, uh, very <laughs> horny. That was really? the role he was playing. No, he would, he would really in real life come on to you? Wait, you know, John just likes to touch. And you never his. made love to him? No. He was married at the time. Yeah, yeah, and his huh. wife was really nice. What happened? You divorced her? Yeah, that's what I hear. Mm. Yeah. But you, it like, and it's have you ever shown up at a party since Three's Company and, like, he won't talk to you? And I, I did once. I saw him at an ABC party, and, yeah. and I saw him, and I thought, oh, good, I really want to... Patch things up. Yeah. Right. So it's like, because it's stupid negative energy. Yeah. So I made my way over, and there was a camera crew that came up and stopped me. And so I was looking over the camera crew trying to get to him, and he left. So I don't know if he saw me and left or if he just left. Oh. <laughs> what a dick. What a stupid he dick. He had to know you were in the room. I'm sure he did, yeah. Oh, man. You know, your eyes sparkle. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Alan. <laughs> Suzanne, Alan you have nice eyes, too. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. You could like Alan's mushy body. <laughs> Alan, come over and kiss me. Let me see how it feels. No, no, just sit down. I'm not hugging you. Are you crazy? He's oh, he's coming, coming over. Up. All right, I'll take a hug. <laughs> Alan's a wacky guy. Yeah, Alan's looking for attention, man. This guy's lonely. 
You haven't cheated on Suzanne, huh? Uh, no, no. He's yeah, never here. away She's from her. Give me a hug. Yeah, of course I'm a big dude. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Wait a minute, that's no way to hug. Can I grab your ass? Yeah, sure. Really? Go ahead. Take a feel. I can't believe it. Hey, it's nice. Can I grab yours? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Oh, this is very strange. Unusual. Suzanne, you you hug Robin. Go ahead. Go over there. Come on, please. Please. Alan, take off your underwear. <laughs> he won't. Thank you, Alan. Yeah. Alan's a good sport. See, that's the one thing to rub his do. chest. What? You didn't ask to rub his chest. Uh, no, I don't want to rub his chest. <laughs> that might be now, too see, much. That's, that's what I fell in love with first. Now, Suzanne, you have this new talk show. You're going to tell me exactly what Alan has cooked up for this talk show, and I'll tell you if it'll fly. Yeah, does he really executive produce, or did she just have to get him off the set? Uh, yeah, this keeps <laughs> Alan busy while she's taping the Patrick Duffy thing. <laughs> my kids love that show. I know. And they worship you. Yeah. Do they, they worship really? you. Oh, my God. It's the number one show in America with kids. And my kids get all embarrassed when you and Patrick Duffy start kissing because like, he's always horny yes, for you. And, yes. I, and I try to, I Wait, wish you toned that down a little. It never happens. Do you really? Yeah, no. tone that down a little. No. No, with the kids. Really? No, I think that's it, show, good. it shows it shows it. Mm, yeah, it shows. Healthy. It shows someone who looks like Suzanne Summers, a guy who's always groping. Of course. Well, it's and they see me at home, they go, well, why don't you do that to mommy? Oh, I, go, why don't I your kids see. Be quiet? So this isn't about the no, kids. It's, it's no. about puts pressure on you. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, he yeah. plays his horny husband. Tell him to yeah. mellow out. No <laughs> husband no husband in real life is like that. <laughs> All right, obviously everyone's excited. I'll be here. No, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You have you. a certain charisma, <laughs> and uh, everyone is getting into it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, you remember meeting only you Alan gets into my career. Do you remember meeting me before? At that radio orgy. Yeah. 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 And everyone told me in that room, they said, oh, don't go talk to him. No. Yeah. Eat you up. Mm, I will eat you up. <laughs> and you were so sweet. I would eat you up. Oh, I would eat you up. Oh, really? you don't even. I don't what know. Alan, you used to lead her up. What would you do? Oh, Let me tell you what that. I do to you. <laughs> Can I tell you what I do to you? I am I am very fascinated by you. Yeah? I, I find you very sexy. <laughs> Um, but you're used to that. You're used to guys kissing your ass. Huh. But let, let me just tell you no, something. No, I'm not really. What we do is we would go to San Tropez, Sans Allen. Uh -huh. <laughs> How and would then. you do that? And uh, <laughs> I don't know. That part of the fantasy yeah. haven't worked out. You have to tie there as the bellman. And like when we get to the room and everything, yeah. you're just wearing like a sundress and um, what are those shoes I like? Espadrilles. Espadrilles. You're wearing espadrilles yeah. and a sundress. Yeah. And, and like nope. ankle. And on the yeah. plane ride to San Tropez, you, you said, Howard, I'm not going to wear uh, panties. <laughs> And like I was just like like we put a blanket over each other. And I did some stuff. I went to third base with you on the plane. Uh -huh. You know, we did some stuff and we're kissing and making out and having yeah. a good time. You know. Yeah. And then you you uh, you're not too repulsed, so you're getting kind of into it. <laughs> and then you then we go to the hotel. A good start. You're not repulsed. And the first thing I do is, I tie you up. <laughs> okay. And after I tie you up. <laughs> you're laying on the bed. You're spread eagle. I mean, you're completely oh, exposed. Dear. There's no, there's no modesty here. It's like the fan club. Yeah, right. 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 You're, you and you're like yeah. Howard. I don't. You're a little nervous because you don't know whether to trust me. Like maybe I'm real kook. Yeah, yeah. You know, I seem nice enough on the plane, but now you're completely now, at yeah. my mercy. You know, the moment you're tied to the bed, you start going. Wait is a this minute. guy a weirdo, or or is this just like cool? But I explained yeah. to you, Suzanne. All I want to do is please you. I want to give you the most erotic thrill because you've been mm -hmm. with Alan for twenty years. Wait a minute. It sounds like <laughs> yeah. Suzanne has been tied to the bed. You were tied up. Alan, you ever tied Suzanne to the bed? <laughs> yeah. You have. Oh, oh. If you've you done this already, I, I can do something else. If you've, have you really been tied to the bed? Yeah. Why have did you ever been tied up? To me? Yeah. That's not my thing. No. Yeah. No. 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 That's, no. My that's thing. exactly why I do it yeah. to you. Yeah. Because right. it's not your thing, but it is in some strange way, and it really pisses you off that you're tied to the bed. Mm -hmm. And you go, okay, well, he's going to do some stuff to me and it'll feel good. I don't do anything to you. I leave. <laughs> and you're there, and now you are so angry. I would be very angry. Yeah, you're yeah. so angry, and yes. you're like completely, you're like, what right. am I doing with this jerk? This we is so jerk. stupid. Oh, by the yeah. way. Where do I go? I go to, like, the ice machine mellow out, and then I, then I go get a drink. <laughs> and then, um, you know, just like a Perrier or something, because yeah. I want to have my wits about I want. I don't want to be drunk for this. I've been drunk with a lot of ugly girls. I got a good-looking one now. I want to just, you, you know. You want to be stone cold. Yeah, I want, I want to be sober. I don't want to forget this. I don't have to be on Quaaludes for once. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Okay. So tied, you're I'm the, tied to the bed. You're there for like a half hour, this but it seems so like eternity. Mm -hmm. And even though you're wriggling around on the bed and you're completely pissed off and you don't know why you went, mm -hmm. and, and you're even like maybe even crying a little bit because yeah. you're very emotional. I saw you like on, on Phil Donahue with your parents and everything. Yeah. You got all weepy and stuff. Right. That's so, good. And also, you know, the, the ropes on the on the wrists and the ankles, they start hurting. No, it's not even know. that tight. It's yes, not even that tight. Okay. It's just the frustration. Hey, I'm in San Tropez. I'm not used to this. I'm Suzanne Summers. Yeah. What is this? You know, I've, I've been treated as and a I princess. And I have control issues. So now I'm tied yeah. to the bed. Yeah. This is not dealing well with my son. And your full D cup breath. Yeah. Uh, which obviously you do have a D cup. I don't think I'm telling things that are not. I think that's. I think that's obvious. That's on her resume. Alan, right? Yeah. You checked yeah. Suzanne's bra. You have a D, right? I'm not telling. Oh come you. on! What is the big deal? I mean, let's, we're all adult here, for God's sake. You have a D, obviously. You're very full. You have a very they're, full cup. They're all mine. 
Okay. It's a very full cup. Yeah. You never had implants or yeah, anything. never bought them. And they're there. And even though, you know, they, 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 they're they there and, mm -hmm. like, you, you're just so naked. Yeah. And I come back in the room. <laughs> okay, so I'm tied up. I'm naked. Yeah, I'm and now I come back in a half hour and you're uh -huh. screaming. And the whole time right. you were twisting there on the bed, mm -hmm. you got very sexually excited, you notice. And you don't, you're mad that you're sexually excited, but I'm, this is ridiculous. Alan is saying, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Alan likes this. <laughs> All right, so you're really sexually excited. Mm -hmm. This is how I see us. I'm lying on my back. So yeah. You know. Okay. All yeah, right. like you're yeah. pissed and everything, but at the yeah. same point, you know, like, okay. hey, I could use something. Here. Well, she's also happy to yeah. see you. Yeah. So I come in, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, so I come in, and you're like, Howard, I want to go home. I hate this. I hate you. I'm missing that. And even meanwhile, you're like, the hate is mixed with a little bit of like fr frustration here. Uh -huh. And I don't say a word. Yeah. I just get my bowl of hot soapy water. Mm. All right. Hot soapy water. Yeah. Now what's he doing? And now you're going, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Is there an enema involved here? I don't want like that. I don't like that. No. no, I just come back with my hot bowl of soapy water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> What you are, you I are. You I feed are you sick. soap. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> soap soup. Yeah. No, no. I mean, and like, and even you are like, you know, Howard. I have to get up. I have to go to the bathroom. I said, Suzanne, you're no stranger to go to the bathroom in the bed. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And that even turns you on more because oh, I, I'm, I'm digging per it. And permission. I'm not laughing yeah, at right. you. This is like cool right. to you. Yeah, I'm not like one of those yeah. kids laughing at you. I'm saying, hey, I like that. <laughs> That's something I think you should keep up doing. Yeah, you are sick. Howard. Right. I know. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. and you know, you don't want her to stay with you forever once she gets out of that bed. She's right. out of there. I'm worse than Alan. I actually have her tied down so she can't run away. Yeah. Alan just keeps an eye on her. And like you're getting embarrassed and everything because you don't want to wet the bed in front of me. And I just, and I say, um, okay, I'll throw up to make you comfortable. <laughs> and then I puke. Oh, I no, puke. No. And then you, no, 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 See, come on. No, no. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop Even it. Even with my no, 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 baby, no. I couldn't. All right. Can I tell you the rest vomit. of this? Yeah. Can I tell you the rest of this? Okay. All right. All right. So, okay. Eliminate the vomit. Okay. Now you sort of destroyed the whole Picture. Okay, please, it was please. Starting to happen, please. What is it? You know? So you were really sexually aroused, <laughs> and I'm there with this bowl of soapy water, and now you're getting nervous because you're like, "What kind of kink is this idiot yeah, into?" Yeah. And you're really, but yet you're still kind of sexually excited. Yeah. And here you fouled the bed, and you know it's like, and I and I just pull out the sheet from under you and everything, yeah. and it's cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. But that was really a turn you're an on for you, guy. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take a razor blade and I say, you know, you're just, you've got to be clean for oh, me, dear. and I shave you. Ugh. Huh? Just, it's, it's just getting sick Just now. sick. <laughs> just Wait a second. So you asked what, the, what was going to go on in San Tropez. What is it, Alan? You're checking the watch? No, I can't. Jealous? 7.15 a.m. <laughs> we're what? talking about shaving. vomiting and shaving. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No, vomiting and shaving. What? Oh, That's all he oh, said. Jesus. Jackie, calm down, huh? Sorry. I heard professor. what you heard. Mm. Yeah. Yes. No, you said vomiting and shaving, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now I don't like the shaving part. No, of course you don't. That really pisses you off. You're not happy. This is called bondage. You don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it You like it. You're mad at me. You're yelling at me through all this. But guess what? You're excited. And I sense it. I sense it. Anybody with a razor that near to my hoo-ha. Mom, listen to me. It makes you excited. Yes, you were excited. Not necessarily a good thing, Howard. No, but you're turned on. I mean, you're so turned on that I have to close all the screens in the room. The flies are coming in. Okay? You are completely... They don't have screens in Central Park. Oh, they don't? Right. Well, okay. But anyway, let's assume they. I can get screens. I know people in Central Park. Let's get past the razor really fast. All right. All right. We're past that. Now you're laying there. Now you're laying there. Yeah. And I do, I'll speed up the fantasy. And I'm looking like a 16 I do an hour of foreplay on you that drives you nuts. And I mean the kind that Alan stopped doing probably a few years ago. <laughs> Actually, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now, keep going, Howard. This is getting right. interesting. I've got the two clothespins on, and I'm ready to oh, go. You. There's no problem. Two you need. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sometimes five. It depends who I'm with. With Suzanne, I probably don't need any. But you, you, I bet you're wonderful. And then you're going wild. You're like, oh, my God, this is really turning me on. And I'm doing this to you because, obviously, I'm inadequate. I don't pack enough potential down in my pants. <laughs> so I know that that's ultimately going to be a disappointment. So you are writhing. I mean, you're right. You're, you're willing to accept anybody mm -hmm. at this point. And then, finally, it's me. And you're <laughs> hungering for me. And then I untie you. Uh -huh. And you ravish me. Mm. Well, how That's it. That's your first sexual experience with me. Out of the you box. Know, I think we don't this even... was your first sexual experience with me. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> and your last. <laughs> and your and, last. Yeah, and you want to know something? You're sitting there dizzy. I see it in your eyes. And you Alan is dizzy. You sound like, though, you sound like all those demented people who yes. say, yeah, but she's going to love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are people listening right <laughs> now. No, but there's right a now. trust now built yeah. up. I did it to a excite trust. Suzanne yeah. because she's been with Alan for 100 years. 
<laughs> and I did research. I know Alan is small too, so Alan, you might want to try that. I got to research. Oh, I have to research everything. Let's is take that a break. why you hugged Alan? To yeah, just, just to oh, tell if he. Yeah, I didn't feel anything oh, in his I pants. Okay. And what right. about Howard, Alan? <laughs> well, there's nothing there. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Alan. That was a nice of you. All right, Suzanne Summers is here with her husband slash executive producer slash we stalker. Out what, his, what he yes. does on the show. I'll tell you why I'd watch your talk show. Plain why and simple. Why is your show different? I keep hearing that in your promo. I'll tell you why the show different. is different. She keeps saying she's different. She don't even know why she's different. I'm going to tell her why she's different, and I'm going to tell this to her executive producer husband. All right, Alan. So he'll know. Oh, first of all, oh, let me hear Alan answer the question. Why do you think Suzanne Summers is different? Go ahead. You're the executive producer. Tell me. Tell <laughs> me the answer. What's different about her? He show. doesn't know. Different from you what? Tell, no, why is her show different, different from the from other Howard shows? Stern? Sell, Alan. No. Sell. This tell is me your why it's different. Sell. Sell. Go ahead. Yes. yes. No. Be serious. Okay. Yeah. Tell him what you told the people. Look how he's on the spot. He can't answer. He no, doesn't let me know. talk. Let me yeah, talk. Yeah. Pretend you're in your pitch meeting, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> okay. Let me talk. Okay. Okay. Relax and just like be the one that I know. Alan, it's your chance to be in the spotlight now. Okay. Not Suzanne. She's the most extraordinary woman. I've ever met. Okay. Why is the talk show different, though? What, what segments are... What about the show is different? The show is different for the same reason that, that Leno and Letterman have different shows. Leto, Leno is different from Letterman. So Wrong Suzanne answer. Is different. Wrong answer. Oh. Well, excuse Wrong me. Wrong answer. The reason Suzanne Summers is different Maybe you should be the executive producer. Well, of course I should be the executive <laughs> producer, and Suzanne already knows it. Alan's just about got his Alan, bags you're packed. you're losing your job. Yeah, here. you better you better mellow out there, Alan. Don't worry, I don't have time to be the executive producer. <laughs> the reason your show is different, mm -hmm. and no one has identified this yet, and it's going to sound a little weird and sexist. Okay. You are one hot broad. What you are exuding today <laughs> is total sensuality. Now listen to me. They're going to get you on that show and make you look like Kathy Lee Gifford. No, there's no, first you up. of all, there's no they. Listen to me. They is me. Yes, no, listen to me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Don't talk so much. That's okay. your problem also. You don't listen. <laughs> You're doing a talk show, but you shouldn't talk. First of all, don't call it the Suzanne Summer Show. Call okay. it the Beautiful Breast Show. Oh. Now listen to this. <clears throat> listen That'll to me. really grab those yeah, ladies in daytime. Yeah. No, that. I'm kidding around about the name, but listen to me seriously. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> You've got something. When you were on Three's Company... You wore sexy little outfits. Yes, those sloppy shorts. The fact that you have an ability to speak well, you've, you've got an interest in people, that's all beautiful. Mm -hmm. Letterman is a comedian, so you watch his comedy. Mm -hmm. Howard Stern is goofy, so you watch him be goofy. Mm -hmm. Suzanne Summers is sexy. You've got to play that. Go you're going to play that down and don't. It it Come out in mini skirt. Let me tell you something. I watch. I hate. I hate Kathy Lee Gifford with a passion. She is everything vapid and vacuous about the business. Mm -hmm. There is nothing palatable about her. She's that quick wit. You don't. You, like that? She has no wit. She's like a moron. She is a dope. She's. Fun. She's a nitwit. She's you know what fun. nitwit she's is? She's likable. She's friendly. <laughs> No, Regis, she's not. Regis is sexier. But, you, you but know, listen to me. me listen I, to me. I, listen to me. Say, okay, but I want to say. I don't something. like her, mm -hmm. but I have to watch her because she it, she wears. They get her in the miniskirt once mm -hmm. in a while, and I'm looking at the legs, and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do to her. Now this is how the male population thinks, and the women, meanwhile, respect sexy women. They like a good-looking woman. They don't respect but what ugly is, women. But what is sexy? Sexy is not what you're I wearing. I mean a low-cut top. No, a, wrong. Is, bah, is bah, wrong answer. <laughs> sexy is a low-cut top. I'm mini pants. Covered up Hot today. pants. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're covered up, but I, I, I can visualize. <laughs> oh, you're undressing her with your Sex, eyes. Let me and, and, let me and tell sexy, you why it's sexy different. is not Alan. Let me tell you it why it's different. It is you. <laughs> That's why it's different. No, actually, Alan is very sexy. That's Wear point. sheer tops yeah, oh, for yeah. big ratings. That'll, that'll really pull in those ladies. In oh, you're, I'm telling you, I swear do you to know you. What's, do you know what... I, Women oh, really like. I gotta me. kiss you. C come here. Women Just come like here. Alan, me. turn your head. I'll tell you why it's different. Okay, go ahead. You know. <laughs> You're persistent. When you, <laughs> everybody thinks Alan is the whole power behind this thing. Go ahead. It rests on your shoulders. I, Either I, you're going to be good or, you, or that's it. Go ahead. You, what do you like about Regis? When you watch Regis. Topless cooking segment. <laughs> when you ro watch Regis. Go ahead. We, we have a sense of who he is. We know on the days when he's pissy. That's it. You know, he comes yes. in sometimes. He's in a bad mood. Well, 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 and, well. And, I had or, a terrible night. Or, I had a terrible night. Joy, Joy, I left my, uh, my, my child, the one with no arms and legs, I left him in the wheelchair and didn't support him. Ah, well, 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 well. I had a real pissy night. Yeah, no, I agree with you. But, but that's him just acting. That's Regis acting. But there are yeah. days when he's got a real edge. 
when you know, ooh, I don't know what happened, but he's and and you can see he's a little irritated with Kathy. Or he's a little irritated. Oh, hold on, hold It's on. very clear when do you he's know why Regis? Do you know why Regis is uh, popular? I'm telling you why I think he's popular. No, he's because not popular we, for any of those reasons. I'll tell you why Regis we, is popular. We've got a real sense of who he is. Wrong. Regis is popular because there's absolutely nothing on against him. <laughs> and as soon as they put up anything, that now, had, if they took the Ricky Lake show and put it up against Regis, Regis would have a point five. Now let You've got to get black people on your show arguing. <laughs> to scream. You've got to get them yelling at each other no, and screaming at no, each other like no, wild no. maniacs. You've got to get no. a black audience and let them yell at black people on the stage and white trash people. I think that's why she's different. She's and wear, not do and, that. and be topless. And I mean, Gee, sheer, be, wear every, a thong. I am there. I am there with a thirty sheer. I really wish you were producing my show. What a oh, hit that let would me be, do. Alan. Alan, you're going to run her right into the ground. I can see you already. But you know, <laughs> see, I think the only way it succeeds oh, is if some girl is if you are you are some girl real, and if you're not phony. So and is that how you're going to be? Right, let's, yes. Let's see if you're real. Uh huh. Are you attracted to me at all on any level? <laughs> She is. She told me. No, 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 not you, Alan. She Alan told is the She told me. No, she no. I want to know if you're, if you're going to be real on TV. And I'm attracted. I'm to I'm asking you, too. you a question. I'm, I want I'm you to attracted. answer honestly. You've been thinking too I'm much. No, excuse me. Excuse me, Alan. You're afraid of the answer, Alan? Pal. I'm attracted to Jewish men. Oh, well, I'm, I'm I'm full Jewish then. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, I like their savvy and their smarts. And I asked you and a direct you, question. You're avoiding you're the question. I think you're very smart. Do you think I'm, I think that you just love shocking people? And do you think that you and I would and be I good think lovers you're together? A cat at home. Do you think you and I would be good lovers together? Uh, uh, no. You do not. Uh, no. Are you just it's saying that? that razor and it's that rope. All right, forget the razor See, and the rope. <laughs> that, I don't ever do vomit, any of that. The vomit. Oh, come on, like, I vomited once. It was just come on, like you wet a the bed. Turn off. No, you admit, admit. <laughs> All right, let me see how honest you are. Uh -huh. How many times a night you and Alan really make love? <laughs> See, Regis would talk about Six, that. Six, seven. No, I, you know, that's a no, lot. Not a lot. You wearing yeah. underpants right now? <laughs> <laughs> see, you can't answer. See, you got to. You got to let. You see, see, this is the pro. This is gonna be hard for you. You got to let down all that Hollywood crap, and you got to. Like, I'm I say very unHollywood. Okay, let's see how unHollywood you are. Yeah, I am. Are you wearing panties right now? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Alan, get lost. Alan Will you just leave the room? I'm making out with your wife now. <laughs> I'm making love to her mind. <laughs> Go ahead. What? See what I want to do. <laughs> you on see, the talk see, show. you see, you're gonna have to break. Alan, you've got to get her to break these walls. Is Alan a voyeur? Uh, Does yes. Alan like to watch? Very, very much. Yeah, yeah. obviously. So you got to practice. I got to train you. What are you doing right now? I ask you a question. The first thing that pops into your mind, you answer. Oh, this is weird. No, what I'm trying. To How do big are your cups? You what, just go steep. What I'm trying to not do is answer your question. Are you bushy? Yes. Are you bushy? Yeah, I don't like razors. Terrible. You know what I'm saying? You got to say that. You yeah, have to shave. You have to shave for when you go to Saint Tropez. When I watch Alan. talk show hosts, I like to know. <laughs> yes. Like I love watching Dave Letterman because, because I guess everything I do because I get a <laughs> sense of who he likes and who he doesn't like. Right. What kind of women he likes. What. what kind so are of you willing to take a guest that you don't like and sort of give him the cold shoulder? Yeah, that's what. You that's would. what I hope have not the cold shoulder because I'm not. I'm. I'm. Why not, would you have him on the show to give I'm him the cold rude. shoulder? I'm not rude. I'm right. not rude. But if somebody you know is a jerk, you would they, tell them. No, I just let it hang there. No, you got to tell them. No, watch this, Jackie. <laughs> you are a jerk. <laughs> right. <laughs> you see what I mean? It works. But see, that's not my style. My style is not oh. to... Did you ever have your teeth fixed or they just like that? They like that. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous lips and teeth. <laughs> and that's your regular nose? No nose job? Nothing? No nose job. Wow. We yeah. And no breast implants? None. <sighs> How much you weigh? 112. Oh. oh, that's the perfect weight for any girl. <laughs> any of you girls listening out there, if you don't weigh 112, you're in trouble. <laughs> fantastic. You are a fantastic woman. Yes, but, but uh, not, no, I don't mean yes, but on the talk show. You know what I would do with you? She I would, means yes. On the talk show. I would love to breed with you. You don't have kids, do you? Yeah. You got yeah. kids? You got kids in a body like that? I have a son who's 30. Did you have a tummy tuck? No. Tummy, tummy tuck. Really? She's very young, obviously. I, I was a teenager. It's the best. Have sex. Have sex when you're a teenager. Get the kid out of the way, and then get back to working on your body. Can Actually, you imagine a 30-year-old man walking in here and saying, "Hi, mom." I know. I know. That's amazing. I'd love to. Uh, but it's a very, I'd love it's for you very, to be my mother. It's a very. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever see you naked when he was growing up? <laughs> Did you breastfeed? <laughs> Did you breastfeed your son? <laughs> Did you? Huh? You did, no, didn't you? I wish you? I did. 
I oh. wish I did at that time. If you want, was... if you want to go, you know what I'll do? I'll hypnotize you. We'll regress you, and I'll pretend <laughs> to be your son. That's one of the things I wish I didn't like. But you know, oh, it's very interesting too. having a thirty-year-old son. I bet he I wants to breastfeed like now. Myself young. Yes, you because, are because uh, we're very close in age. Yes, you yes, know? you're almost like brother and sister. Uh, at times, almost he like was... boyfriend and girlfriend. It no, wouldn't be wrong. No, it was it, the roles switch because because for so many years. You we imagine were alone it's your together. mom. I could never deal with this being my mother. Imagine Suzanne Summers walking in like this hmm. to school, <laughs> and all the kids are you like. You wouldn't like having all the guys love your. No, mother. I know a guy who had a mother yeah, like that. Yeah. He had a real hot mother growing up. Did and, it mess him up? Oh, real bad. Because we used to go. We say, "Hey, Robbie, your mom's hot." And, and he was like, "Oh." I and we go over to the house not to see Robbie. We go over to see his mom. <laughs> I think it's hard when they're teenagers. I think it's really hard on them. But and, and what is your son? Loves, and loves uh, having me as a mother. And what does your son call Alan, Grandpa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time, he called him something else. Oh, really? Yeah. Didn't like Alan. Well, listen, no one not in the room initially. likes Alan, right, Alan? That's right. it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's right. Initially, he didn't. He didn't like him for about ten years. Right, oh, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Suzanne. Let me wish you very much. Uh, let me wish you lots of luck on your new talk show. Uh -huh. I will watch this yeah, show. You're going to like it. Oh, I, what are you going to wear you the first show? Like Just explain your outfit to all the guys at home. What you're going to wear your first show? This is not a show for all the guys. This oh. is. I want you to. I want you to just like me. But women like to see you in different outfits too. I, I wear great clothes, but you I don't wear every... talk show host clothes. Well, okay, I what are you going to wear? Cowboy boots and and, and culottes. I wear, uh, sometimes and sometimes Ooh. jeans Ooh. with pink socks. Not pink socks. You wear cowboy boots oh, with like a mini skirt. Mini skirt. Sometimes <laughs> I wear short skirts. <laughs> you want my advice? I dre I'm dressing um, the way I like to dress for me. First guest, mm -hmm. John Ritter. Ah, she only I, would, I, I would like to put that out there right now, yeah. John, yes. if you're listening. I would, I would really love to have John Ritter come on, and I would like to patch up whatever there is to patch up. Yeah, you could have a three company would really reunion enjoy. right, right I would really show. enjoy. Yeah. You know, one of the things <laughs> I want to do before is hug I me. die, oh. before I die, is make love to me. Is, <laughs> is I really want to make love with you. Yes, Alan. and we're gonna. Yeah, okay. And you, and, and you, of course, if we tell uh, Alan, he'll be suicidal, and if you tell my wife... Unless we let him watch. The oh, other oh. thing, besides making love to you, Howard, before I die, is I really don't want to have any unresolved relationships, any ick. You oh, what, what are you, I into mean? like reincarnation or something? You no. didn't get kooky on me, did you? No, 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 no. I just, I just don't like having ick with people. Really? And so there's some sort of <laughs> You should ick. see my life. There's some, some sort of ick between John and I that I don't understand that I would like. There's going to be ick between you and me tonight, oh. in, yeah. in a way you don't even know yet. <laughs> I'll be thinking ick about is you. Right. Ick is going to be all over the place. <laughs> That's the very right word for that. You and I tonight, honey, whether ick, you're there or ick. not. <laughs> Probably two ick. Yeah. Lots of ick. There's going to be ick between us, so you better clear that up right now. All right, listen, Suzanne. Understood, but... This is, this is yeah. you know uh, you know what I mean. I no, know. I didn't get weird. You want to you just want to be able to walk anywhere and hey have all these things resolved. Well, you know it just uses up a lot of energy to not have. Well, you to don't have, have to be icked. Uh, Ritter can stay icked if exactly. he wants. I'm not. If he is, I hope he's not. I want to thank if you. He, for, if he's not, I want him to come on the show. I want to thank you for two things. Yeah. Number one, you took your jacket off. You really made me <laughs> warm in here. Uh, Why don't you take your shirt off? Nervous. All right, take oh. it easy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You actually, I felt nervous coming in today, and I usually don't feel nervous around people. Were and you I ever said, I said, because it's so unpredictable, and also, uh, this is the way I felt the first night I opened at the MGM Grand when I walked down the hall here. I said, I feel like I'm going to the electric chair. Yes, well, don't feel that. Now you, now you will come back and feel uh, you're very comfortable. Nice. Oh, I you're am very nice. I'm a very nice you know, guy. Yeah. You, you get a little weird sometimes. <laughs> but, you know. Hey, look at Alan. Yeah. Talk about weird. <laughs> All right, so listen. And you are shocking. Can we? You did shock me. Can we hug goodbye? Huh? Uh, is that wrong, or Alan? Or? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. See, Can we see, hug goodbye? See. Now, why is that wrong? You hug <laughs> that Patrick Duffy. It's acting. I won't tie you up. I just want to hug you goodbye. I, I hugged him. He's okay. Because it, because you're about twice as big as me. I swear I'll be a gentleman. You know, my head comes to your way. I just waist. want to say I hug Suzanne Summer. Yes, really. You know, Can I stand is. on the desk? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, that would, that would actually be helpful. <laughs> Please just rub those beauties against me. Oh, Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. As close as we can get. <laughs> You're making her feel more comfortable now, I'm sure. No, I mean, can I just hug you goodbye? I mean, you hug lots of guys goodbye. Yeah, I see, but now it's taken... See, if you hadn't no, asked... No, 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 no. Really, if you hadn't asked, oh. then I would have, and it would have been cool, because... Come on, hug, wait, come on, hug me goodbye. But now I know you're going to hug me, and you're going to press me. No, I'm you, not. I, I won't do, do anything. I'm a gentleman. No, you're not. You're I not. am. I am. You're not a gentleman, and I you're just want to hug Suzanne you're, Summers you're goodbye. You're trying to get a, a feel. No, right? I'm not. Yes, you are. I would never do that. Without ever touching. I would no, that's, yeah, right. that is rape, and I would never do that. Okay. What? 
Oh. If you to touch someone against their will? No, no, no. You're, no, no, it's, that's it's not the what pressing. She said. It's the pressing. You're trying no, to get a free press. No, no. Please, please. I'll hug oh. you from behind. How's I that? I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so you're not going to hug me goodbye? Lying like I'll that hug you hour. next time I come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Listen, if you don't want to hug, I'm very hurt. I, I, to say the least, I'm very hurt. But all right, I will deal with it. I'll hug you off camera because then you're... then you're. Oh, come on. Let's hug right now. No. Because oh, on camera, see, so you've No, got, I won't do anything. That microphone gives you... Um, what's, what's A libido. The word? Libido. No. It's uh, It gives you... Id. Power. It gives you. It takes it makes away you your crazy. Yes. It takes away um, your inhibitions. Yeah. Will you hug me if Alan is in the middle? Uh, yeah. That yeah. you would do. Yeah. Alan, are you up for that? Yeah. Is the Robin Bird show still on? Uh, how, why would you ask me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get cable. I have cable vision of Long Island. I don't it get anything. It doesn't show Robin Bird out there. All right. I can see the hug is going to happen. I'm certainly not <laughs> hugging Alan again. Uh, Suzanne, good luck with the TV show. It'll be on everywhere. Just check your newspaper, and you can uh, see Suzanne. She'll be wearing cowboy boots and mini skirt. <laughs> show which i'm looking forward to and it'll be taped uh when it will be taped that monday no we we've done 20 of oh them. so you already know the first show yeah yeah what are you wearing again the mini mini skirt and boots i don't know if on the first show i am but that's that's one of my very very at home very i'd love to I costume dress. you what kind of a set do you have one of those it's actually a replica and... of my house that i've lived in for 20 years ah. why did you do a show on like penoise and then like you yeah. have to model too <laughs> you know what i mean like a fashion I show i used to do that Oh, yeah, I could bet. No, oh, yeah. in, in my early years of modeling, when I was mm, making yes. money, I used to work in a thing called the Wolves' Den in mm. San Francisco at Christmas. Ever make love to celebrities before Alan? Um, a couple. Really? Mm -hmm. Who? Who'd you get? I'm not going to tell Gabby you. Gabby Hayes and who else? <laughs> no, come on, who was it? Who? It must have been in your book. Tell us. Come on, you wrote it in the book. Uh, no, I didn't reveal them. Oh. Why? Well, because no, oh, one don't was give me that. no one was really important other than Alan, and my whole <laughs> my focus. Well, you on, got her brainwashed. <laughs> my focus Man. in that book was our relationship and how who was it, James Con? It was James Con. You met him up at the Playboy Everybody's Mansion. Everybody's been with James Con. <laughs> <laughs> Were you with Jimmy Con? <laughs> Warren Beatty. Everybody's been with Warren. George Beatty. Hamilton. Never George Hamilton. James Con. No. Really? Seriously? No. Was I'm it very, Warren I know Beatty? I've been very selective. They're I can count on my my Jack two, Nicholson. Two hands. Jack Nicholson. Um, he'd be interesting. You had him. No, I did not. Who could it be? Fred Norris. <laughs> Fred Norris? <Yeah. laughs> you never had him? Lauren Green. Lauren Green yeah. from Bonanza? <laughs> Jim Lang. <laughs> Jim Lang, the host of the dating game. Very, yeah. very good guy. All right, all right. Suzanne Summers. I was on the dating game. Yeah, I know. I've seen clips of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, that, that, I always believed that show. Like Suzanne Summers needs a date. Sure, she went on that date. Yeah, she can't find anybody. <laughs> I didn't go on the date. Oh no. I took the stereo. Instead. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I did. Like you were the bachelorette, and you uh, got to pick guys, and yeah, then you just I backed the out guy, of the date. And then I decided to take the stereo. What was he a real loser? Um, he just um, he wasn't the Alan. idea of going to Bermuda with this guy seemed like <laughs> a Hell. really That's long a evening. Yeah, yeah. James yeah. Garner, you made love to, didn't you? Uh, no. What? No. You were not a lover of his? Uh, Burt Reynolds. No. Burt Reynolds? No. <laughs> Florence no. Henderson. See, I, see, I'm interested. Ray Walston see, <laughs> from My Ray Favorite Walton. Martian. <laughs> see, I'd, it, Ca Wally Cox. Castro would be interesting. Castro? Yeah. We're just, we're not talking about the interesting. Arcos, yeah. Jimmy Farentino? We're talking yeah. about who I like old guys. Mm. Oh, old Alan? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found the oldest. <laughs> All right, so you're not going to give up the names. All right, very good. Uh, Suzanne Summers. Well, when you have her tied up on that bed, you make her <laughs> Oh, yeah, she'll be talking plenty. I'll get plenty out of her. Alan, you know who her sexual past, or you never ask? I never ask. You're a liar. I don't want to know. <laughs> the difference is, I want to know. Everyone he's ever been with, and what it was like. Women are different. You're Women the, you're the only know. one Alan's been with. That's what <laughs> yeah, he. Right, right, <laughs> right. Well, well, you got someone famous? Huh? What in Canada, Alan? No, I've never slept with anybody other than Suzanne. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, right. Take it easy. <laughs> Suzanne got Anne Murray or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Trebek. Yeah. 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 Suzanne Summer Show is Alan Monday. Alex Trebek. Yeah. Make sure that you tune in because it's going to be the debut show. That's always the best show where there's a little nervousness in the air. Oh yeah, she's very excited. Right. You'll Su like it. I know I will. You will like it. I'll like it as long as you wear the right outfit. <laughs> Suzanne Summers. <laughs> uh, thank you, Suzanne. I want you to like me for my brains. No, oh, please. Everyone's got brains. <laughs> people have what you have <laughs> all right uh, alan i like you too you're a good guy yeah okay and we'll take a break and uh, when we come back robin i'll i'll talk to you i'll come we'll do the post game analysis <laughs> good luck with the show i hope it's a huge hit thanks okay bye-bye thanks guys bye-bye
Take care. Nice Did you get that camera off me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Suzanne, how did it go? Well, I don't know. How did it go? <laughs> Are you glad you came? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad I came. I still feel nervous. This guy makes you nervous. <laughs> Give me a six pack of water, bring it next Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with the Thanks show. A Always thank a pleasure. Thank great you. couple sis. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You must be a great woman. He is. Hi. Do you want to say hi. 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 hi? Well, now you've had sex with me. Yeah. <laughs> hi, how are you? Hello. So I guess you want to go to bed with me now. <laughs> New chapter. Oh, he's going to love what you're wearing. <laughs> Your show is darling. Oh, thank you so much. Bye. Good luck with you. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. When do you premiere? Is it Monday? This is Chester Dresha. Oh. 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 Dog? Yes. Uh, yeah, Chester Dresha. Gary said that it's a miracle that we got him in. Like we didn't realize. We just walked right in. Because they don't allow dogs in the building. Is that a puppy or is that a... No, he's 11 years old. Really? He's losing his teeth. But he recurs on the show. Yeah, we made him Susie Babcock's dog, but he hates her and he loves me. So. <laughs> Have you done Howard show before? Yeah, I've done it several times. Um, Are you doing a whole press tour? Did he have the camera? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Bye. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Here we are. Yeah. 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 So turn around here. Bye. See ya. Woo.